Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Laura. I'm the Boreal Educator here at the Boreal Center for Bird Conservation in Slave Lake, Alberta. And today I'm going to be talking all about winter adaptations. So winter is a really difficult time for many animals in the boreal forest. Animals need to be able to find food, water and shelter in order to survive. And many animals will change their bodies or behaviors in order to survive the winter. And these changes are called adaptations. And there's one bird in particular that has some pretty cool winter adaptations that I want to tell you about. This bird has a black cap on top of their head and a black bib on their chest. They also like to say their own name. They say chickadee dee 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 dee. I bet you know who I'm talking about. The black capped chickadee. Chickadees are winter survival superstars. While most of the birds in our boreal forest migrate to warmer places down south in the winter, the chickadee stays here all year long. But how do they find enough food in the winter and keep their tiny bodies warm when it's really cold outside? Chickadees have four special adaptations that help them survive the winter, even when it's 40 below. The first adaptation has to do with a chickadee's feathers. So think about what you put on when you go outside in the winter. For me, I put on my big winter boots, my nice warm parka, my big mitts, and my toque as well. Chickadees have feathers instead, and feathers are excellent insulators, which means they trap heat close to the chickadee's body. A chickadee will actually grow extra feathers in the winter time to stay warm. It's kind of like they grow their own winter coat. On really cold winter days, they will fluff up their feathers to trap more warm air against their bodies, which makes them look super fat, but they're actually just extra fluffy. How cute are they? Feathers are super important for a chickadee to survive. The second adaptation happens during the long winter night and has to do with the temperature of a chickadee's body. We can tell how hot or cold something is by using a thermometer to measure temperature. Everything has a temperature, including our bodies. No matter what the weather is like outside, human bodies generally stay at around the same temperature. If our temperature goes up by only a few degrees, we get sick with a fever. If our body temperature goes down even just a little bit, we can get very, very sick or even die if we get too cold. Chickadees, however, are special. They can lower their body temperature by a lot every single night without getting sick. Turning themselves into chilly little chickadee popsicles helps them conserve energy. Just like us, a chickadee's body is like a furnace that burns food as fuel, which creates heat and keeps the fire burning. Having a low body temperature means that a chickadee doesn't need to burn as much fuel to keep themselves warm during the night while they're sleeping. The warmth of the morning sun will increase the chickadee's temperature once again as they wake up, ready for another busy day of finding food. Chickadees are fantastic at finding food in the winter. The third adaptation is a behavior called food caching. As the temperature begins to drop in the fall, chickadees are very busy hiding thousands of insects and seeds in different spots called caches that they will go back to when they need food to eat during the winter. Chickadees have an amazing memory when it comes to remembering all of their different caches or hiding spots. They always know where to find the best snacks. In fact, the part of a chickadee's brain that deals with memory will actually increase in size in the fall as they cache more and more food for the winter. They actually become smarter in winter. How cool is that? Eating lots and lots of food is super important for a chickadee. The last adaptation I want to tell you about also happens during the cold winter nights. Remember, a chickadee's body acts like a furnace. It needs fuel to keep the fire burning to create heat and stay warm. During the day, chickadees are busy finding lots of food to eat, which fuels their furnace and keeps them warm. They eat so much food during the day that they build up a layer of fat around their body. When the sun sets, the chubby chickadee will find shelter in a tiny hole in a tree or even underneath the snow. Then they shiver all night to generate heat and stay warm, which burns up all of the fat they gain during the day. In fact, if a chickadee weighed the same as a grown-up human, they would lose up to 15 pounds of fat in a single night just from shivering. That means they'll be extra hungry the next day and will need to find even more food to get ready for the next cold winter night. 
Even though chickadees are winter survival superstars, finding enough food and staying warm in the winter is not easy. So one way that we can help chickadees and other birds survive is by putting food out for them. Chickadees are frequent visitors to backyard bird feeders and especially love black oil sunflower seeds and suet blocks like this. They are naturally very curious and friendly as well. With a little patience, you might even get one to eat right out of your hand. Okay, so now we know how chickadees survive the winter, but what about all the other animals in the forest? What kind of adaptations do they have to survive in the winter? Larger birds, like ravens for example, will find a cozy spot in a tree to spend the cold winter nights. This shelters them from the wind and snow, making it easier to stay warm. Many small mammals, like mice and voles, will burrow underneath the snow for the winter. The snow acts like a blanket on top of the ground to keep them nice and toasty. Larger animals like deer, lynx, and wolves will grow extra layers of fur on their bodies. It's kind of like they grow their own winter parkas. There are many animals in our forest that are active all winter long, and they all have some very cool ways of surviving and staying warm. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about animal adaptations and how some animals survive in the winter, including the chickadee, one of nature's truly fascinating little birds. So this winter, take a look for chickadees in your backyard or around your neighborhood, or take a walk around the Boreal Center if you can. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.